Hi Virgo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings. Tarot from us. We're going to do your week ahead reading, guys. We're going to do 6 to the uh, 11th of May 2019. You've also got a monthly up. It's a monthly love reading. So if you fancy that, it's sitting next door. For your week ahead, guys, we are using uh, Spellcaster's Tarot. I was using another deck before. I was using the Tarot of the Old Path for some of the other signs, but it's, with the lighting, it, it was it was kind of drowning out the colouring of the cards. I'm going to use the darker ones, Spellcaster's Tarot. Just putting one card to see what it is you need to focus on for the week. Um, we're going to fill in the story. So we're going to use for the body of the story is going to be the Giant Rider Weight Tarot deck. Um, we are also going to use the Druid Craft Tarot deck to get any other information that could be coming in that you might need to know about for the week. And also uh, your advice or the oracle card to let you know what blessings are being bestowed on you guys during the week. Okay. So with that being said, guys, we're going to get on with your reading. So universe, what is it that Virgo needs to be focusing on between the 6th and the 11th? In one card, what do they need to be focusing on? What should they be focusing on or what will they be focusing on between the 6th and the 11th of May 2019? Show me. The world. Okay, so this is your goals. Some of you guys, it's goals, it's um, it's achievements, it's wishes, it's desires, is the world energy. Sometimes the world energy is all about completion though. So this is all about transition, ending one cycle and entering into another. So some of you guys might be focusing on uh, entering one cycle, entering into another cycle, because this is the card of transformation. There are various cards within the tarot that indicate one cycle is ending, another one is beginning. World uh devil energy not devil sorry um death card devil reversed um wheel of fortune well wheel of fortune yeah to a certain extent i guess yes it is uh justice is another one there's so many of these cards six of swords is another one three of swords is another one sun is another one lots of the cards in the tarot talk about endings and new beginnings and that's like the world world energy is also about lessons learned so it could also be uh, Virgo with the world energy. You'll be focusing on uh, a lesson being learned. The world energy, remember, it's the last card in the Major Arcana. And all of the cards starting from the Fool energy, the Fool goes on a journey where he's learning various things. So the Major Arcana are the bigger lessons. The smaller lessons are the Minor Arcana cards, your Pick cards and your Court cards. And the bigger lessons are actually your Major Arcana cards. So these are the big things that you need to kind of learn from. And hopefully move forward with. With the world energy, you're coming to the last card in the major arcana. So everything that you've learned through the majors, right from the zero uh, of the full up to judgment number 20, it's all kind of culminating in this card here with the world energy. Some of you focus, uh, some of you guys need to focus on kind of rising above situations. But also the world card, for me, this is almost like Father Time. It's where we grow up. It's where we grow old. You know, it's where we kind of mature as individuals. So some of you guys... The focus for the week is on how you take perhaps a more mature stance on a situation with the world energy because this is about looking at a situation from a world view, from a higher view. Uh, it might be that some of you guys are setting your sights on something global here. This could be global travel with the world energy. Some of you uh, Virgos might be setting your sights on with this particular card with the world energy. Could also be with the world energy. I think the world energy represents, I'm sure the world represents Capricorn or Sagittarius. I think it might be Capricorn. You might be focusing on a Capricorn individual with the world energy. Uh, the world energy as a focus for the week is also really bringing things to a place of completion. So this is all about wrapping things up. So some of you guys, it might be if you've got projects that have been ongoing for a long time. If there's things that have been outstanding, it might be the focus needs to be on wrapping those things up because it's bringing things now to a point of completion with the world energy. Let's have a look at what's going on um, in the past concerning this uh, particular card. So we said, uh, Virgo, that the focus uh, for the week has to be on the world. Okay, so the world is wrapping things up, drawing things to a conclusion, a neat conclusion, learning lessons. Starting a new phase is the world energy. Uh, world energy is also recognition. So some, some of you guys need to focus on gaining recognition, perhaps from the world, people outside of yourself. Uh, uh, devil, past is the devil. Energy chains is the devil. You might have also been dealing with a Capricorn person. I think that the world is Capricorn. It's possibly Capricorn Sagittarius. I think that Wheel of Fortune, though, is Sagittarius. And world is Capricorn energy. So you could have been dealing with a Capricorn could also be though that in the past you were enslaved or you were enchained to something here because the devil means to be enslaved or chained with the devil energy in the past um uh virgo 
um, hanged man. But, you know, the hanged man means a couple of things in a reading. The hanged man either means surrender, it either means slow movement, it means things are being held up in the air, but also it can be a card that represents somebody is relaxed as well. So somebody's not doing much, they're not struggling much, they're not making much of an effort to chat. You've got two major cards here. So, you know, uh, the, devil, the hangman also means... Uh, to have a different perspective. I'll get another card with that hanged man as well. So in the past we've got the devil, chains, enslavement. Uh, hanged man, perhaps there is an enslavement to a way of seeing something here. Uh, hanged man, slow changes as well. Three of cups as well showing up here. Hanged man, surrendering to the three of cups. Okay, I get the impression that you guys in the past, you were happy to... Or it could have been somebody around you, Virgo, was happy to live a certain lifestyle. Because the way the cards feel to me, it just feels slovenly. It feels like not much effort was made. You've got this, in the past, this devil energy showing here. And devils mean, uh, you know, burning the, you know, the candle at both ends. It can mean kind of excess when you get the devil energy. It can mean, you know, uh, be addictions, for example, drink, drugs, bad food. Parting is the devil energy showing here. Bad habits is the devil energy. But I feel with the, uh, I think this has been slow to change with the hanged man energy. Because the hanged man is a very, very slow change. So I get the impression here that with this devil energy that you have been kind of enslaved to a certain way of being, uh, Virgo. And I think that there has been very little movement or very slow movement. If you look at the hanged man, the hangman is like a child coming down the birthing channel. So the hangman often looks like birth, but it's slow movement. If you think about a woman having a baby, this is the baby coming down the, you know, that down the channel. Uh, going, going through the birthing process. This is the birthing process. It's very slow movement to change. And I feel that if you have been stuck in a rut, this doesn't even have to be addiction. But it can be being stuck in a rut. I think that there has been very slow movement to change with the hangman energy. And I actually feel that some of you guys have really indulged with the three of cups in this. Because the three of cups in this, the three of cups is all about indulgence. So I feel that uh, this is, to me, suggesting either being stuck in the rut or you've been happy to be stuck in a rut. You've been relaxed about it. Very slow movement, very slow change concerning this devil energy. Devil energy being being enslaved to something. Very slow movement, uh, the hanged man indulgence with the three of cups. So this looks like, it doesn't look like a job or anything. It looks like a way of life. Some of you guys, it might be eating the wrong foods, for example, for Virgo. For some of you guys, it might be being a couch potato, sitting down, getting in from work, kicking your shoes off and every evening just sitting down, eating food in front of the TV, watching TV, very little exercise. This doesn't look like exercise to me. Hangman to me is not an exercise card. This person tends to enjoy just sitting watching TV and eating TV dinners. The Three of Cups is to indulge perhaps in this energy here and this behaviour of the hangman. Just not doing much and slow movement to change. Kind of just uh, sticking with the status quo and the devil is all about kind of the wrong things that we do. It's not always a bad card but there's certainly... With the devil energy, it's all about being enslaved to a certain thing, to repeating patterns, very slow movement to change these kind of probably unhealthy patterns of behaviour with the devil energy and indulging with the three of cups. So I'm seeing in the past, this could be you, Virgo, it could also could be somebody else, but if it is you, I think that you indulged in something in the past and there was very slow movement in terms of change, which is why the focus with the world needs to be probably on bringing this to completion and possibly expanding your horizons with the world energy. Now you're thinking going forward, Virgo, concerning uh, this situation, uh, Virgo, into the week will be, the first card is the four of coins reverse. So the first card he's saying, your thinking is, actually, you've got to do something about the situation. You've got to come out of the comfort zone. Four of coins in the reverse means to, you know, release yourself from attachment. Within the upright, this person is very attached to the material. Four of coins energy. He's very attached to the way that he's been living. He doesn't want to change. In the reverse, Virgo, this person is releasing all of this energy. The four of coins is starting to fall off him. So this protection device this person has had, the fact with the four of coins energy, they've stayed within a certain way of living for too long. This person is releasing this energy now. So your focus will be on releasing this energy coming out of a comfort zone, four of coins energy, and also taking your guard down with that four of coins being reversed showing there, okay? Two of cups energy showing here. Possibly agreeing, two of cups, or taking your... Um, 
taking your guard down it could be in a relationship two of cups or taking your guard down and agreeing with the two of cups energy there's a card that wants to come out of here the sun in the reverse though shows up here so your thought is um i want to uh i think that you're not happy about something here with the sun reversed I think that it's almost like you're thinking is, yeah, I do want to let my guard down. I do want to change things with the four of coins in the reverse, but I'm not happy to maybe do this with others. Maybe some of you guys aren't happy to do it in a group. Two of cups, three of cups, anything with a two upwards is a group. I'm not happy sun energy in the reverse to do this in a group. Group work, I'm not happy about. So some of you guys want to change things, four of coins in the reverse, but you're not happy with the sun to do this with others or to do it in a group. Um... You know, some of you guys, it could be that you need to, not to say that you need to lose weight, but sometimes people need to lose weight, you know. Uh, you might be indulging in the wrong things to eat and just indulging all the time, not making much change. It's Hangman showing there, you know, slow movement to change. Hangman isn't always about surrender. Sometimes it's somebody who's lazy. Sometimes it's very slow movement to change. With that devil energy being enslaved to perhaps bad habits, bad patterns of behavior, repetitive patterns of behavior, very slow movement to change hangman indulgence the three of cups uh for a coin thinking is i want to kind of come out of this comfort zone now i want to stop putting up this wall i want to stop indulging in these things but i'm not happy with the sun reverse to perhaps do it with others what's the advice that the universe has you universe what are you advising virgos to do concerning this situation what are you advising virgos to do and remember you can attribute my readings and we've got three cards come out together Three cards just came out together like so. So the first card is Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords is all about new plans. You need to put new plans into action with the Ace of Swords. You also need to look at the reality of the situation here, Virgo. Ace of Swords is all about facing reality. So first of all, the universe is advising you, Virgo, you need to face reality with the Ace of Swords. Once you face reality, you not need to start putting some new ideas, new plans into action with the Ace of Swords energy. Ace of Swords is all about cutting away from the past and doing something new. The next card is look to the future with the Three of Wands. So you need to start facing reality with the Ace of Swords energy and they're upright. Start planning ahead. Three of Wands is all ahead. So start with the Ace of Swords energy. Start looking at the situation realistically and start planning Ace of Swords energy ahead. Three of Wands. Some of you guys need to contact a King of Wands. Reach out Three of Wands to a King of Wands. King of Wands can be a trainer, for example. He can be a health person or he can be a specialist, somebody who can help you. Usually he works within a gym, does the King of Wands. So some of you guys, if this is like a health thing, you might need to reach out to somebody at a gym perhaps get some advice but you know it's all about this week uh virgo it's changing things you really need to focus on the world energy this is now changing transformation cycles are coming to an end you really need to think about kind of drawing something to a conclusion in your life drawing something to a close because i just feel virgo for some of you guys you've just done something the same for far too long whether it's eating junk food whether it's drinking whether it's smoking whether it's partner partying whether it's staying in the same old job and just kind of not kind of you know exploring the world or exploring your horizons whatever it is i'm pretty sure that it's probably not healthy for you virgo and you really need to focus on kind of well i need to do something that makes me feel good makes me feel alive what I'm going to do, Virgo, is I'm going to put the, um, I'm going to home down the camera on the actual cards now. And uh, we're going to show you the actual layout, okay? So just bear with me. Okay, Virgo, there we are. There are the cards. Uh, I hope you can see them. The light is shining in. We've got a sunny afternoon now in the UK. So when it suns up, uh, basically the cards get a little bit skewed. But yeah, I think they're showing quite good. Uh, you need to focus on the world, uh, 6th to the 11th of May 2019. You definitely need to be focusing on drawing things to a close now. It's a time to complete things. It's a time of completion, the world energy. It's a time to you know end particular cycles and uh, it's time to focus on a new phase, a new beginning with the world energy. Some of you guys need to focus on kind of broadening your horizons with the uh with the uh world energy three of wands can also be the advice is to broaden your horizons get active this isn't a person broaden your horizons and start to get active with the king of wands two very strong fire energies showing here three of wands is all about broadening your horizons getting out there contacting people talking three of wands energy king of wands is about just getting out there and doing stuff the word that comes along with the king of wands is just go for it 
broaden your horizons, uh, world energy. It's time to end cycles. It's time to complete, to draw, draw something to a conclusion that no longer benefits you. Now, in the past, um, in the past, um, let's just draw this camera in here a little bit, okay? So, in the past, um, uh, uh, Virgo, what we had was the devil energy uh, showing here. So, in the past, devil energy means to be enslaved. So, some of you guys finding yourself being enslaved, you're enchained, you're chained up with the devil energy. Uh, and I, I just feel with the, uh, the hangman, there wasn't much resistance put up with this. I don't think you put up much resistance to this with the hangman in the river, in the... But it's in the upright. He's, he is the way that he's meant to be. But there wasn't much resistance. The hangman for me as well. I've seen this many a card time. This card shows somebody who's quite lazy. Somebody who doesn't really do anything. They kind of just sit by and let things happen. So I think that some of you guys here, something was enslaving you in the past, whether this was drugs, drink, food, bad food, that is, sitting down, couch potato, not doing much. The hangman, this is like a couch potato, the devil energy and the hangman. Somebody who is enslaved to just doing nothing, taking things slowly. It's almost like there's no motivation in these two cards. And I get the impression with the three of cups, you guys just really indulged in this way of life. Some of you guys really just indulged in this way of life. Whatever that is for you, whether you know you stayed at a job you didn't like because of the money, whatever it is, you indulged. Three of cups is indulgence. You indulged in this way of life, okay? In kind of sitting back and allowing, in a way, life just to pass you by, you know, just making the wrong choices and doing the wrong things. I do feel that your thinking is slightly changing and the universe is saying, well, your thinking uh, during the 6th to the 11th is really where you say, well, actually, four of coins, I'm sick of kind of staying this way. Four of coins in the upright means maintaining the status quo. So there's no change here and you are doing the same old, same old four of coins. This person is reluctant. They don't like change. But in the reverse, what we're doing is we're stripping away the pretense. We're stripping away all the defences that we've put up here. This person was, uh, you know, was protected by materialism. This person liked food. They liked wine. They never changed up anything. I'm surprised he's not fatter than what he is. But in the reverse, this person is saying, right, time to strip all of this away and get active. So your mind is kind of saying, this needs to go. Four of coins reverse. Because this is all about letting go. So this needs to go. For some of you uh, Virgos, you're saying this all needs to go with the four of coins reverse. However, I don't think that you're happy with the sun reverse to actually with that two of cups energy reverse do this change amongst others. I don't think that you're happy to work with someone on this. If this is to do anything with anything like a weight issue, Virgo, some of you guys say, well, yeah, I do want to change this, but I don't want to kind of fly it with the sun. I'm not happy to kind of, you know, work with somebody on this, on this change. I want to do it myself. But the universe is saying, well, look, the advice is, Virgo, whatever this is, I mean, you want to change. If it's work, you might not be happy to work with people or something like that. I don't know. It's something that you're not happy with. Twos and upwards are groups. So you're not happy to work within with someone one-on-one -on -one with it. Maybe you're not happy to get counselling or you're not happy to kind of, you know, work with somebody to kind of resolve this issue here. But you want the change. So the universe is saying, well, the advice is, Virgo, you've just got to look at the situation, re you know, realistically, you may not want, you may not want with the sun reverse to work with someone, you want change, but you don't want, you're not happy to work with somebody on this, well, the realism of the situation is Virgo, the universe is saying, well, you've got to face the truth, Ace of Swords showing here, all right, you've also got to cut yourself away from the idea, Ace of Swords is also the card that indicates we need to cut away from old, outdated ideas, you may have outdated ideas that working with an individual is going to bring a lot of pressure with the devil energy, you know, you may not like the idea about, you know, and you need to kind of cut away from the idea that maybe, you know, uh, working with others, maybe there's going to be a problem with working with a group, you've got to cut away from all of that stuff, all right, and you've got to start looking at the situa uh, situation realistically, and the universe might be telling you, Virgo, start looking at the situation realistically with the Ace of Swords, because you're going to have to reach out to someone, Three of Wands is all about reaching out to someone, and the someone is the King of Wands, Virgo. You're going to have to reach out to someone for help. So really and truly, to be perfectly honest with you, Virgo, the universe is saying you're going to have to get some help in, in six of the, between the 6th and the 11th. It's saying, look, you know, some of you guys might not be happy to work with someone, but you're going to have to. If you're looking at the situation realistically with the Ace of Swords, you're going to have to reach out with, for someone for some help. You're going to have to reach out Three of Wands for help with the King of Wands. If this is a health matter, if it's something to do with your weight, gym, you need to change up how you eat, you need to reach out to a gym instructor. King of Wands are people that work in gyms, they're gym instructors, they're, they're personal trainers. Reach out, contact a personal trainer, King of Wands Energy, if it's something to do with your health, for example, okay? 
you know, if it's something to do with a job and you've not, you've just indulged and you've just kind of stuck where you are, for example, in a job that you can't stand, you know, and you want to let go of this, but you're not happy to kind of talk to someone face to face about it. Again, the same thing stands, Ace of Swords. Look at the situation realistically. Cut away from all the old outdated your ideas, ideas that you have, Virgo, that you don't want to work with somebody on this. Because you're going to have to reach out to a recruitment consultant or reach out to an entrepreneur or reach out to somebody who works in business who's able to give you some guidance, you know. All right, some of you guys, the advice is you're going to have to start working on planning for the future. Ace of Swords is all about planning and this is the future. You're going to have to start planning for the future. So get your ass into gear with the King of Wands energy. If this isn't a person, it's telling you to get motivated and get up and do it. All right, because to be honest, this just looks like very slovenly behaviour. I don't expect many thumbs up on my videos. I never really get many thumbs up on my videos, to be honest with you, because they're so specific, which is fair enough. But I'm just saying, for those of you that it resonates with Virgo, get off your ass, because some of you guys are really kind of like being very, very slovenly and lazy in this area here. I'm afraid, Virgo, the cards are saying, and you want the change, but you're not happy to kind of communicate with someone or work one-on-one -on -one with someone while the universe is saying, I've got news for you. You've got to start thinking realistically about this Ace of Swords, seeing things for what they really are. You are letting the best years of your life pass you by. If you don't want it, if it's a fat thing, not a fat thing, sorry, I do apologise. If it's an overweight thing, you need to contact someone. You need to reach out to a gym person, somebody who can get you into shape. If it's a work thing, you need to reach out to somebody who knows about business. Who better to talk to about business than the King of Wands or the King of Coins, you know? You're going to have to reach out to this person here, all right? If you are sick to death of doing what you've been doing, it might be you work within a group of people here, all right? Uh, might be that uh, the past you've taken a step back from working within an evil devil, a corrupt group. Devil is corrupt. This is the group. Some of you guys might have taken a step back from working in a corrupt group. And the thinking is, I want to be released from this, but I don't want to work in with any more people. I want to work for myself. Well, the universe says, well, fine. If you want to work for yourself, you know, Virgo, go and do it. Ace of Swords, start putting those plans into action. Start planning Ace of Swords for the future. You might need to get some advice from a King of Wands or start planning for the future by being active and get off your ass and do it. Some of you guys, it almost feels to me on this reading in a way, Virgo, that for some of you guys, it's all talk. There's a lot of talk going on and very little action. Time to take action. The world is beckoning you this week. You need to focus on the world. Okay? Ending cycles, new phases need to be the focus. Okay, you need to take from what you've learned. You need to act like a, a man or a woman now. You need to mature up. It's about being mature with the world energy. But you also need to broaden, broaden your horizons, okay? So it's action. The week is about taking action. It's time to focus on taking action. All right. Um, let's have a look at your pick five card reading. Um, sorry about my cloth. It tends to get little bits on it, which is annoying. Okay, um, let's have a look at what the five cards are telling you uh, for the week. So, Universe Spirit, can you just show me for Virgo, what is the energies that you see coming in for Virgo, 5th to the, uh, sorry, the 6th to the 11th of, um, sorry, I find these little bits on the like, table thing really offensive, to be honest. Uh, Universe Spirit, what is it that you see coming in for Virgo? What do you see coming in for Virgo? Show me Virgo. Any other information that you have for Virgo between the 6th and the 11th of uh, May 2019? Uh, we've got, right, Ace of Cups. This could be an invitation coming in. Oh, can you see that? See, when the light comes in, it really does go down on those cards. Okay. So the Ace of Cups is first. Okay. Uh, let me just put this down a little bit more. There we go. All right. Ace of Cups is coming in. All right, this could be an invitation or this could be an abundance. So there might be some abundance coming in here. Ace of Cups energy. Uh, it's funny, you've got the devil energy showing here. Uh, this is chains. Devil is chains. Uh, devil is um, negativity. The devil is... But you've got the Ace of Cups. So for some of you guys, it could be Virgo, new love. New love with a Capricorn, for example. Capricorn is the devil. Ace of Cups is new love. This is an overflow, Ace of Cups, healing. Some of you guys are healing from a really difficult situation. It might be an illness with the devil energy. Ace of Cups is healing, okay? Also, uh, devil is demanding, okay? So you might have an overflow of demands happening next week as well. 6th to the 11th, okay? So you might have an overflow. The overflow of the Ace of Cups just means lots. You might have lots of demands coming in with the devil energy. 
you might be healing from sickness uh devil energy uh in the next few days showing up here you might also have fall in love or there might be an attraction or an invitation coming from a uh coming from a capricorn potentially showing here what else are we looking at uh, there's a king of cups a devil and the king of cups somebody's got emotional uh, there's an emotional when you get the devil the devil is all about addiction this can be an addiction to drink you've got the overflow of the ace of cups if there is anything like addiction to drink or alcohol because we've got water here and we've got addiction here usually alcohol based showing up here if there's anything like an addiction to drink or anything like that the ace of swords energy shows up here some of you guys focusing on cutting that out ace of cups energy ace of swords is all about cutting away cutting away is the ace of swords energy high priestess shows up here so intuition showing up here intuition being very clear intuition uh high priestess ace of swords very very clear with the ace of swords energy so the ace of swords is all about clarity seeing things clearly and this is intuition okay i get the impression the focus for next week for some of you guys is your intuition is going to be very clear here your intuition being very clear it might be on somebody that you know virgo somebody who has a drink problem king of cups ace of cups you can see the water is overflowing there's a devil card here this is drink this is uh, like alcohol abuse for example king of cups there might be somebody around you or somebody might be communicating that they've got issues with alcohol for example all right uh, high priestess and the ace of swords um as of swords i don't really see this is kind of like a a spell uh type of thing ace of swords being kind of you know it's, for me this is more about the mental and this is more about the intuitiveness so the ace of swords is seeing things clear this is clarity intuition very very heightened very clear might be that your intuition is very clear maybe there's something to do with somebody around you who's got something like a drink problem or something like that devil and the king of cups ace of cups it looks like drink all over lots of water and a devil card showing here but then we've got a an honesty card a truth card clarity card and intuitive card showing up here as well so i think that the intuition is very high maybe this is in terms of how you can help somebody next week for example uh, also could be a king of cups is communicating with you as well uh, virgo potentially you might have a king of cups and a pisces so it might be scorpio pisces communication uh might be an overflow of demands as well because the ace of uh, ace of cups is an overflow this is demands it might be there's a couple of people king of cups and a high priestess communicating to you an overflow lots of demands so it might be if, especially if this is a work thing um uh virgo it might be with these cards you've got a very busy week at work these look like bosses high priestess and the king of cups might be that you've got a great deal of demands from some people here concerning work what else can you see coming in for virgo uh, let's have a look. Uh, three of Swords is uh, heartbreak, anxiety, it's depression. It's uh, kind of um, when you're looking at the Three of Swords energy, it's kind of like disappointment. But also this is opening up the heart with the Three of Swords energy. The Lady, okay, so this is the Empress. Sometimes this is a miscarriage, for example, with Three of Swords and the Empress energy showing here. But this might not be, a, uh, I'm not talking about it's a pregnancy miscarriage. It can be those cards can indicate miscarriage or abortion, Three of Swords and the Empress can be an abortion. But I think that this might be something creative as well. Something creative might be aborted with the Three of Swords energy. So it might be a project might be aborted next week as well with those cards showing there. Uh, however, new beginnings showing up with the Ace of Wands, pregnancy. So even though one thing might be aborted, it allows for something new creatively to be started again with the Ace of Wands and the uh, the Lady card. So, but this is pregnancy, Lady, and the Ace of Wands is pregnancy, and this is also an abortion, Three of Swords energy. So, pregnancy, Three of Swords. I'm seeing. I'm not saying that it could be pregnancy, but what I'm saying is. Uh, the lady and the three of swords this is all about maybe a creative project being aborted here but it's going to allow for something new to come through with the ace of wands energy showing here two of cups new relationship new partnership coming through with the ace of wands and the two of cups energy it looks very very positive as well okay really really good uh, I'm not talking about pregnancy here. I don't really want to talk about do pregnancy because it's a general reading. I don't even like doing pregnancy in um, personal readings. I don't like doing health readings. I don't think they're very... It's, uh, the only way I do health readings, to be perfectly honest with you, um, Virgo, is in my life spread readings, really. Other readings, you know, if, uh, if it's very gentle health reading, like mental health, that type of thing, I'm quite happy to do. But anything really, really kind of like, do I have a terrible illness? That, that I wouldn't do that. That's not right. 
Three of Swords and Lady, though, and the Empress can be uh, miscarriage or it can be an abortion. Something's being aborted here, I think. But I think with the Ace of Wands, it's going to make way for a new positive relationship in these energies here. Two of Cups, this is all about a new relationship, very positive with the Sun. There is something about pregnancy happening here, though, for some of you guys. You do have the Empress, you've got the Ace of Wands, you've got the Sun, you've got two people celebrating. Some of you guys are celebrating Two of Cups energy, the birth of a child here it might have been after great difficulty with the three of swords energy some of you guys with the lady the ace because these are all really good cards the empress which is the lady the ace of wands the two of cups and the sun we've got one kind of little bit of a negative card here get the impression that after this could have been difficult so it might be and this can also be cesarean as well three of swords is cutting through really the ace of swords and the empress should be a cesarean birth but it might be with the three of swords energy it might be i don't know this looks could be a cesarean so some of you guys maybe this could be cesarean especially if it's pregnancy maybe there's something about usually this is though miscarriage or abortion these two cards together but this could actually be a cesarean as well you do have swords showing up here so it might be after it and also this is tumultuous and a difficult period so this might be after a difficult period uh, there is uh, pregnancy, uh, Empress and the Ace of Wands, you and your partner celebrating the birth of a child. So there could be the birth of a child being celebrating next week uh, for some of you guys. But also remember this could be the uh, um, abolition of a project, the a creative project. But it's making way with the Ace of Wands energy for a new partnership to be born because this is also birth. So new partnership, Ace of Wands, Two of Cups, to be born, the sun. Okay. All right, let's have a quick, very, I didn't expect to spend this long on the reading. I'm trying to cut them down and they always end up being longer than I expect on the channel. There we go. Let's have a quick look at uh, what blessings are being bestowed on you guys. Universe Spirit, what blessings are being bestowed on Virgo? Uh, 6 to the 11th. What, um, what blessings are being bestowed on Virgo? Show me, 6 to the 11th of eight, May. Uh, a blessing on a journey so for any trips if you are going through whether this is a physical mental emotional journey you have a blessing on that all right that's your reading virgo if you like a personal reading you can always just go to my website where you can find um uh, if you look at the comments below you'll see uh the link to my website on there okay you can go there click into it and kind of go to my website and uh, order a reading there okay that's your reading guys have a great week take care Bye bye